Attention viewers, since I first made this tutorial, a bug has been fixed in Blender that makes the process 40% faster. Make sure your version of Blender 2.8 is later than the one released on the 3rd of January. Okay, I've decided not to show you how I created these letters and the smoke sim coming out of them. There's plenty of tutorials on creating smoke sims in Eevee and they're better than mine. How to set it up to render smoke in Eevee with an alpha layer. So the first thing we do is we do actually have to make sure that everything is within the collection. So I've got a list of, there's got a collection here and if I press that we see all the objects here. If something's come out of the collection, let's make sure it goes back in again, like that, by dragging it. The second thing is I'm going to just look briefly at the um, world setting. So that's the shader editor and then to world. And at the moment I'm lighting everything using this HDR image, going into a background layer, going into the surface of the world output, which is fine. But what I want to do is I want to set it up so that looking through the viewport, what we actually see is gray rather than this world, a sort of dark gray, or well, to be exact, you kind of want an average color of the video you're going to put this alpha thing on top of. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a shader, a mix shader, and I'm going to just duplicate that background with shift D and drag it in there. And I'm gonna set this, this is the color that I want it to appear in in the render. You may say you want it transparent. Yes, but as the uh, smoke is semi-transparent, it will fade to this color as it fades to transparent. Does that make sense? I hope so. So let's set this to a nice dark gray. And finally, I want to add a, um, this is we an input light path. And we want to add camera ray into this mix shader here like that into the factor so that basically this means that if it's seen through the camera if it's it's that dark gray if it's anything else if it's lighting if it's a reflection whatever it will appear as this and if we go back to the 3d viewport and we've now got and i go to the camera view with um zero on the number pad we now have the background being this nice dark grey we set it to. So, how are we able to get alpha? If I, uh, if I change this to rendering alpha, if I go to film and set the alpha to transparent, and now I press F12 to render a frame, we, it comes out absolutely nothing. If I just uh, hop into composite nodes here for a moment, well, I've actually done some composite nodes, but if you've been going to the compositor and getting something that looks a little more like this, then all you have to do is click these three tick boxes, use nodes, auto render and backdrop. And we get a render layers going into composite. Now it might be helpful to hold down shift and drag down. So I now cut that there and shift A, add output viewer, and then link these together. So we now, if I had rendered something, it would appear in the background here. Sometimes it's, even though it's alpha, that uh, smoke information is there. So if we add a uh, set alpha node, which I use search there, and set alpha to one, there is literally nothing there. And the only way to get that smoke there is to uh, is to set this to sky. And now if I press F12, and alpha. there, sky, perfect. What I have found, however, is in the viewport shader, we do get alpha on smoke. So can we get the alpha layer from the viewport layer? and combine it with the image from the EV layer. Well, yeah. First thing I'm going to do is here on the scene menu up here, you note that I've already named the scene EV. Now I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to go for the link objects option. And I'm going to this one, the second scene I'm going to call workbench. 
because I'll be using the workbench renderer. The scene is going to be exactly the same. And if anything is in this collection here, if we move the camera around, it's going to move it around on both scenes and the same for everything, adjust the sun. The only thing that won't change from one to the other is, well, the, uh, the render settings and the beginning and end frames here. So on this one called Workbench, I'm going to set the render engine to Workbench. And we may as well set it to flat and set it to a single color. Now, if I press F12 to render. Oh, well, you know what we missed off doing? I do actually still need to go in here and on film, I need to set it to transparent. And alpha. There we go. Nice alpha-ness. So I'm going to shut that. The thing is now, how do we combine the others? Well, the first thought I did was like, yeah, can I like duplicate the render layers so that one of them is from one scene and one is from the other? Unfortunately, I found out that it was basically- This is what works now! And all we have to do now is duplicate that, swap that to our EV layer, and we need to put in a set alpha. And let's see, we attach the alpha of Workbench in, and we attach the image of the EV layer in, and we go to set it to render as a Pung sequence. I'm planning to do more in this series. Volumetric lighting with alpha, bloom with alpha. If you can think of anything else that's hard to do in EV with alpha, give me a shout and I'll see if I can twist some notes together till it works. Thank you.